Hey guys, today I am bringing back Top 5 Wednesday. I haven't made a Top 5 Wednesday in I don't know how long, and I really like making them, so I decided, Anna, you're going to do Top 5 Wednesday again, and I am. Here I am, doing it. So this week's Top 5 Wednesday is Top 5 Book Worlds, so I have chosen 5 of my favorite book worlds, and I'm going to share them with you right now. So let's go. Coming in at number 5, and you guys might think I'm crazy, but that is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. If you don't know, this world is pretty much a dystopian type of world, but the world that I really like is the maze because, man, I would love to be in that maze. I mean, as like weird as that sounds, I would love to be a runner, just like running around the maze and then coming back. I think that'd be so much fun. Although, when I would actually, if I was actually to be put in that situation, I'd be freaking out and really angry because I would have to do the same thing every day. But right now, as an outsider, I would love to be a runner in the Maze Runner. So, yeah. I'm rereading this book this week. So, for the book, about of books, 11. I read this back in 2011, and I just, I want to be a runner, okay? Coming in at number quattro is The Archive by Victoria Schwab. And I think it'd be really cool if I had a key that I open and then I had to go put ghosts back onto their shelves and I could use it as like a transportation method. Like, who needs their license? when you can use the whatever it's called. I really can't remember what that is called, but you know what I'm talking about. I could live a normal life, like Hannah Montana. Girl by day, ghost librarian by night, because I put the ghost back on the shelves like a librarian. Ooh, coming in number three is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. This world is pretty freaking awesome. If you don't know what this world is, it is pretty much New Beijing with cyborgs and androids and that kind of stuff and I just think that's really cool. I would be a cyborg. I mean who needs a hand when you can have a cyborg hand that can do a lot more things. But what wouldn't be cool is the lunar lunars and the lunar queen and the weird freaky lunar animal things whatever they are. That wouldn't be cool but hey every world has their flaws. Coming in at number dos is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. The only reason that I would want to be this world is because I would want to either be Selena Sardothian or be friends with Selena Sardothian. I'd probably aim to take over a kingdom. I also make Selena my BFF for Evzies, and I'd probably marry Kale. Just, just saying. And my top all-time favorite book world is the Shadowhunter world. Here in my hands I have City of Bones and Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I'm currently reading Clockwork Angel. But guys, the Shadowhunter world is so cool. I really want to be a Shadowhunter. That'd be really awesome. Because you get to kick butt and I would be friends with Jace. But I would weasel my way in and end up taking Clary out of the picture and then marrying Jace myself so peace Clary sorry not sorry but if I were set in the clockwork angel time like the 1800s I don't know who I would want to marry Will or Jem I don't know who yet I'm a bit conflicted but just saying Shadowhunter world is pretty awesome there's warlocks there's downworlders there's demons there's fairies vampires werewolves all that stuff so that's a pretty cool world and I would totally be in it if you haven't read the mortal instruments you need to and I can't really say anything for the infernal devices but for I've heard from other people that it's so amazing as well so just read anything Cassandra Clare wrote because it's gonna be freaking awesome just probably yeah so yes those were my top five book worlds I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what your top five book worlds are in the comments below and if you had to go into one of these worlds which one would you choose let me know thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time bye I've known it for a long time daddy wakes up to a drink at night disappearing all